Damon Martin, MMAWeekly.com, here at San Diego Comic-Con with Kung Lee. Now, Kung, we know you as a fighter, but you've become quite the uh, the movie guy lately. Tell us what you're doing here in San Diego. I'm here at the After Dark booth, and I'm promoting uh, Dragon Eyes, uh, my movie with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Peter Weller. So tell us about the movie, because you've been doing a lot more movie roles, but this is a much bigger role for you, right? This is the lead role, and uh, it's really awesome to be working with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Peter Weller as my co-stars. It's, it's like a dream come true, and uh, the great thing about this movie is I got to choreograph all the action fight scenes in this movie, and I used all the experience I learned from Master Wu Ping, you know, um, Donnie Yen, and... Uh, I think people are going to be very happy with the action, but not only is there going to be good action, it's a great story. I don't want to give it away because you got to come watch it at the theaters. So was it was it intimidating? Was it a different spot to be, you know, kind of in the spotlight? Because obviously you've been in movies before, but to take that, you know, lead role. No, you know, um, there's nothing that can intimidate me when the, 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 the cage door closes and you got another fighter pacing back and forth across the ring ready to take your head off. So it's like, I'm sure they were intimidated working with me, but I just had a great time and I, I know that if I messed up, I'm not gonna be looking up at the lights or tapping, you know, tapping out. So what was it like working with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme? We know him as a, obviously a very famous action star, and you know, coming from mixed martial arts, you know, coming from martial arts movies like Bloodsport, how was it working with him? Actually, John Claude was great to work with. Uh, uh, he was very open and uh, he was fun on set, and he definitely, uh, you know, uh, made us all laugh with his jokes. Now we've seen Steven Seagal teaching some people at MMA. Did John Claude show you anything new we need to watch out for? John Claude was really uh, down to do a little sparring session. It was light, but you know, we taped it, and uh, you know, things heated up with him throwing hard hook kicks at me. I was able to block it off, but uh, you know, um, in the end, I think we got some really good footage of John Claude throwing it out there for you know 40 seconds, 60 seconds before he had to take that break. But uh, you know me, I'm, I, I stayed in good shape and I was ready to go. But I had to wait for John Claude to uh, refresh himself, and plus he just came off that uh, heart uh, condition, so yeah. I had a blast. And uh, Stephen Skull. He's taking credit for uh, something he shouldn't be, but, uh, you know, whatever. Maybe you can show Steven a few things. Uh, you know, I'm going to stay out of Steven's way, and, uh, uh, you know, he did come up and do a lot of big things, but uh, I think things changed a little bit now, and, uh, you know, if he's going to take credit for a front kick, so be it. Let me ask you, Kung, because everyone on our side, of course, knows you from the MMA world. You've always said that you loved acting, you know, you wanted to, you know, get deeper into that. Now you got a starring role. Uh, I know you still want to fight, but but where is your dedication now? How, how far away from the fight game does this take you? Well, you know, um, when I first started out uh, doing the MMA and acting, I was able to do both because my jobs were two weeks here, one week there. But now it's like two months here uh, a couple days at home and then right to another set like uh, last year from September all the way to February um, six months straight I was working non-stop from one set to another from one car wide Grandmaster to Dragon Eyes to uh, the Man with Iron Fist and uh, I had like two days here at home one day at home and then two days at home and uh, you really can't train as a fighter but um, I know for a fact if I if I do fight again, it's going to be in the UFC, and because I I've, I have never fought for the UFC, so I would love to fight for the UFC. But right now, because of my contract with Showtime and Strike Force, uh, hopefully things can work out. Because I, you know, there's a show in uh, San Jose, uh, Cain Velasquez is the main event, and I would love to fight in San Jose for the UFC for Dana White and uh, Lorenzo and. If it happens, great. I'm training now. If it doesn't, I'm going to be in good shape for my next movie. So is that is that kind of your goal with the, with the fighting thing right now? Because you've always said that you know it was about the right fight, the right timing. Is that kind of the goal now? Not to you know not to get too deep into it, just to enjoy yourself and do something like fighting in the UFC. You know, yes, I'm not a full time fighter, obviously, and uh, uh, it's it's hard to juggle both. But uh, you know, I feel like you know. I, I, I can do it, and um, I'm very dedicated as a person, 
and um, I will dedicate myself when it's time. If I know I have a fight, I'm going to train extra hard and extra smart so I don't get injured and get to the fight where you know I don't pull out from injury. And um, when it's for the movies, I'm going to dedicate myself, make sure when I'm on screen, I, I deliver my lines great and my character where people can feel what I'm putting out on the screen. So, you know, everything I do, I always do it at 185%. So would you say, and you know, with Strike Force, would you say your time there is fairly done? I mean, just because, again, the magnitude of the fights, and you have a lot of other opportunities out there. You know, I love Strike Force. I came through Strike Force, but uh, I've, I've given um, Strike Force eight, you know, awesome fights, and I feel like, you know, if I could, if they allow me, I would love to give UFC and the UFC fans some great fights. And, uh, if that's possible, I hope it is. If it's not, I'm sorry. And uh, the new movie is Dragon Eyes. And uh, when can everybody check that out? Dragon Eyes. You just gotta, you know, go to the Facebook Dragon Eyes or follow me on Twitter, Cugly185, and I'll let everyone know when it comes out. Right now, it's in post. Uh, I know the editor is about three weeks away from uh, dropping his first director's cut for the studios. And it's not, the, the good thing about this is usually uh, a movie that goes to DVD, uh, it, he'll just finish editing and if, if uh, the production company like After Dark's ready with it, they'll release it. But now they there's Warner Brothers that's involved because they're gonna release it in the theaters. It, it could have a bigger release and uh, I think uh, I think it, this movie's going to be headed for a bigger release. Excellent, Kong. Appreciate the time as well.